Hello again, you guys. It's Carly from The Poetry of Nice. Um, and I have another sales video uh, for you guys. Um, so I just posted one, I think it was yesterday, and um, that was kind of giving you the roundup of everything that I sold while on vacation when I wasn't doing anything at all on my online stores, what's still sold despite me kind of leaving the ship to steer itself, as it were. Um, so if you haven't seen that yet, do go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure to link that below so you can see what all sold um, while I was away having fun. Um, but this sales video is actually going to be kind of like a roundup of the two weeks prior to getting back from vacation. Um, most of us know if you kind of leave your shops to see to themselves, you sort of have a recovery period usually um, where you're kind of urging things to pick back up by being active on all of your stores and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you guys exactly um, pretty much exactly what I, what's sold. There's a few things I've left out here and there just for the sake of time, but this is a really good overview of things that sold in the last two weeks um, as I was trying to build that momentum back up after being on vacation. So, and um, without further ado, I'm going to show you Etsy, Poshmark, and eBay. And um, like I said, it's a broad range of things. There's some good sales in there. There's some not so good sales in there because I like to show you guys everything that comes full circle. Sometimes I have some bad buys, obviously, like everybody else. And sometimes I have some surprising items that I would never have thought would have done well, but hey, they actually did. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with Etsy. So I'm going to tell you the price that I bought the item for, where I got it from, like where I sourced it and what it sold for. Buyer basically always pays shipping. Um, I'll let you know if anything is different, which pretty much eBay would be the only place that it was, but I barely ever, ever do free shipping at this point. Um, and... This is before fees. That's the last thing I want to say. Please bear in mind that each platform has its own fees. So there'll be the cost of goods that I will try to tell you when I tell you when and where I got this item. Um, but there'll also be the platform fee. So Etsy, oh gosh, it used to be 3.5%. And I'm terrible, but I really don't know what it is right now. I know they raised their fees recently. Um, Google it if you need to know. That's all I can say at this point. Etsy and I are having a falling out right now, so I'm afraid I, I don't know everything at this point. But um, Poshmark is a flat 20%, so you can go ahead and sort of take that off the top of the numbers that I tell you. And then eBay is going to sit between 15 and 20% as well between um, the eBay fees and the uh, PayPal fees. So just bear that in mind as I tell you these sales numbers. All right, let's go ahead and show you some stuff. So first item here up on um, the screen, screen is from Etsy. Small sale. This is actually a Christmas mug. It's like a Christmas mug and it has like a warming lid that goes on top of it. It was really cool, like a little vintage mug. Obviously has the 12 days of Christmas written around it. It was from 1987. Um, and this thing took what feels like forever uh, to sell. Um, this is, I think it's third Christmas in my store and it only sold for the grand total of $9.95. Anyway, I only paid about 25 cents for this item originally, but I would definitely second guess mugs at this point. I have quite a few mugs still in my store. They used to fly out the door, um, novelty vintage mugs and whatnot. And honestly, I can barely give them away at this point. So that's just the changing times. Oh goodness, it's going to take its time thinking. Bear with me. All right. So um, this Christmas sweater I got very recently. I think this was one of my recent haul videos um, and I thought it was really cool. It had like, it's like a glitter effect on it, but it looked like a little ski village and then it had Santa up here as well. And then there's a cute detail down here of snowmen kissing. I just thought the whole thing was fun, especially with like the little bit of added sparkle and this design on the arms as well. This was not listed for very long at all. Um, and it sold for $29.95 with the buyer paying shipping. And I've got written down that I paid around 25 cents for this item only because I believe it was in a filler bag situation. And I tend to write down 25 cents when it's filler bag because that's a pretty good guess. Um, okay. And the last Etsy item that sold in the last two weeks, yes, you heard me right, um, was this vintage Gatlinburg, Tennessee hat, just really cool patch, a very neat sort of vintage uh, corduroy baseball hat style with the wide brim. This sold for $24.95, um, and I got this for around about a dollar at, a, I think, an estate sale, this one. All right, that's it for Etsy, so let's quickly move on to Poshmark. Um, so these Merrill boots sold. I've had likes on these and watches. They were up for high. I was asking around $40 for them, um, but I got a best offer of $25, and I decided to go ahead and take it. The season is never going to get better for these, really. They were all kind of like uh, fur-lined and leather on the outside. Nice pair. Um, 
So yeah, so I took 25 and I paid about $3 for these original at a yard sale. And um, this Chico's uh, tweed beaded jacket, this, I think I was asking $30 for this. Someone sent me a best offer. Either someone sent me a best offer or I sent a best offer out. I can't remember which at this point. But anyway, it sold ultimately for $25, obviously by a pay shipping. It was super, bre uh, super, super nice, super beautiful. It's going to be really uh, good for this time of year. And I hope that they very much enjoy it. And I paid around $3 for this, half price at a thrift store. Um, these were from my last haul that I've just put up a week or two ago. If you haven't seen that, hop on over and check it out and you'll recognize a whole bunch of the items that have sold um, in this sales update. Some of those things move really quickly for me, which is always super exciting. Um, so these sketches, their memory foam, they had almost like a filigree type uh, design on the side and stuff. They were they were nice. Um, and yes, they were only up for um, about a, not even a week. Gosh, it was, they were up for a couple of days, honestly. Um, and they sold for $30 and I paid 50 cents for them at the rummage sale. And just as a tip, I like to give you guys a tip as we go along. Um, oh gosh, if there we go. Um, style number. If you get Sketcher shoes, and you can check in almost any shoes, Merrill is the same. They'll have a style name, or in this case, a style number. You can just go ahead and Google that, and that is what gave me uh, the Career Loafers name to go ahead and put in there as well. So just a tip. Uh, this was a fail. Hurrah. <laughs> um, Bobu, Bobu, however you want to say this. Really, really nice piece. This kind of like heathered, marled, I don't even know how you want to say it, um, print on it. Or like It was like a knit, and then all of this was beaded. It was really, really cool. However, when I got it home, it was flawed. It had a hole in the back and I actually uh, that someone had actually already stitched up for me. <laughs> and it was in the back of the arm, I think. So I had to disclose that, obviously. And the value, because it's not a fantastic brand to start with. They just really hurt the value. So I ended up paying about a dollar for this at a yard sale, and it sold for $10. So I recouped my money with a tiny bit of profit. Um, you live, you live. We all find flaws when we get home. That's life. Um, okay, this uh, was a, obviously an ugly Christmas sweater. Um, I, right towards the beginning of the year, like sort of spring, late springish, I went to a... So like a retail rummage sale is the only way that I would be able to describe it. And everything was uh, 50 cents. And there was a lot of stuff that, this is way before ThreadUp started doing their rescue boxes. It's how they would get rid of some inventory. So I managed to go there and just kind of like buy in a bunch of inventory. Some things had flaws, some things did not. Um, and then there was a bunch of new with tags, ugly Christmas sweaters of all kinds of different varieties. And this was one of them. And I have been selling them like hotcakes. I'm really excited. Um, so 50 cents what I paid for this. Somebody bought it for $20. As you can see, it is a beer pong themed, oh, come all ye faithful uh, Christmas sweater. Not surprisingly, this design has already sold out. Um, okay, this was from last week as well. Um, this Betsy Johnson is like a messenger tote, polka dot, floral. It was in fantastic condition. I was really excited when I found it just because of the nice condition that it was in. It honestly looks like it had never been used. Um, anyway, I paid $1 for this at the rummage sale and it sold for $23. And I think that was somebody sending me a best offer. Um, it was a list, It was listed for 30, I think, before that. Okay, Chico's. I think I had this up for either 18 or 20. I sent out a best offer of 15 and somebody took it. And I paid about a dollar for this cardigan. Um, this was also from the rummage sale. So this was in my shop for a very short amount of time, a week, two weeks tops. Yeah, more like a week. Um, and again, with J. Crew, I mentioned this to you guys often, but inside on the tag, you're going to find a style number. That is a great way, uh, way to find the actual style name. So this was the tweed a sidewalk skirt in p uh, printed jacquard so I could go ahead and put that in and know ex uh, how to look up my comps exactly and how to price and um, I think I listed this for $20 I paid a dollar for it someone offered me within a day or two of listing um, $15 um, and I just went ahead and took it always nice to have those quick sales and um, this was a that photo is blurry lord help me all right um so this was a hannah anderson piece let me go ahead and show you this label just in case you've never seen it this is a children's line it's quite expensive and um, you can go on the website to find out some information about their sizing their sizing is obviously a little bit different um this 120 on the website was equivalent to the six to seven years old us but always put your measurements in as well and um i also was able to find out the 
uh, actual name of the piece, which is the Scandi Botanical Floral Dress, um, just by putting in botanical print, Hannah Anderson dress, and searching for a little while. Um, so I paid for this... 25 cents because it was in a filler bag again. I just kind of stuffed it in there and it sold for $24. So you can sell children's clothes on Poshmark. Just bear that in mind. Um, okay. Banana Republic, like a chunky fisherman, uh, like large cowl neck sweater. Um, this I actually got at the bins in Asheville. And I, so I paid about $1.50 for it because it was just over a pound um, in weight and it sold for $18. Uh, these Madewell jeans, I paid around $6 at a thrift store, and these sat forever for me. Now, they were a straight leg, but they were a great, like, black wash. Um, and I honestly just thought that they would go so much faster, and they didn't. So $6, they sold for $27, which isn't a terrible profit, but I really thought these Madewell jeans would have moved faster, so you live, you learn. Um, Hot Topic, this got all kinds of attention on eBay and on Poshmark, as I usually do with Hot Topic pieces. Don't look over Hot Topic pieces. Um thinking that they, you know, retail cheap or the PE, you know, it's too small demographic or whatever, just a word to the wise. I always sell them quickly. It's, they're popular. What can I say? Especially plaid. Go figure. Um, so I paid, oh gosh, about 50 cents for this, I think, at a yard sale or a rummage sale, one of the two. And it sold for 12. It's just, again, not a huge profit. I probably could have held out for more, but I was eager to get some stuff moving since I was, again, trying to pick up momentum again um, after being on vacation. Um, okay, these Ugg shoes, they're these Espadrille slip-on shoes, they... I've sat for quite a while. Again, lots of interest. I paid about three or four dollars at a yard, uh, a rummage sale, at a rummage sale for these, and they sold in the end for thirty dollars, which is not too bad at all. Um, and then these Miss Me jeans only paid a dollar for these. I found them at a rummage sale not too long ago. I got either two or three pairs at that point. These had the button flap pockets, which were going in their favor, but they they're like a wide leg flare, as you can see, a few small. Uh, cosmetic issues, nothing major at all, but they weren't super blinged out on the pockets. However, people will say that you cannot sell Miss Me unless they have the blinged out pockets. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you can, as long as you get it cheap enough. So a dollar, two dollars, even three dollars, I would totally have spent on the Miss Me jeans. They're not blinged out pockets, they're just the button flaps, they're just metal buttons, nothing sparkly in sight, and they still sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. And they didn't sit for too long, probably mm, six to eight weeks. Okay, uh, this was just a random vintage 50-50 uh, Christmas tree graphic t-shirt. It was like tissue thin. It was, um, it was really cool. It was not single stitch, so that wasn't really going in its favor in terms of keywords and stuff. But uh, like I said, it was a 50-50. It was Hanes. Um, and it was just really cool. Like, that's kind of awesome for this time of year. Um, so it sold for $13, but it only cost me about 25 cents because, again, fill a bag. Um, this sweater, ugly Christmas sweater, whatever you want to call it, was uh, another one from the kind of retail rummage sale thing that I was telling you about. So again, 50 cents, it was new with tags. This sold within a couple of weeks, just waiting for that right Mets fan. She left a great feedback, it's for her son, she hopes he loves it, and obviously it sold for $20, um, which is not bad for 50 cents. Uh, okay, so my red and white plaid pajamas, these were also from uh, the last haul that I posted. Um, on YouTube, and uh, these were in the filler bag, so I'm going to go ahead and call them 50 cents as though they were 25 cents a piece since it was a two-piece set. Um, these sold within an hour of listing for $35, which was my full asking price. So, Soma for me is super hit or miss. I don't find the loungewear does very well um, in terms of like their everyday clothes for out and about, but their sleepwear especially if it's like the right print and stuff, just seems to, to do well. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, here is the label in case you need to see it. And yeah, not too bad at all. 50 cents into 35 in an hour. I will take that. Oh, we're having deja vu. Another beer pong Christmas sweater. Like I said, I am sold out now. $20. Um, this Adidas Climalite track jacket. Again, I think this was about a dollar. It was hooded. It's just like a hot pink color. Very standard athletic wear, but athletic wear, the time is coming for that. If you have any that's not listed, list it now because as soon as January 1st rolls around, that is what people are looking for. Um, so yes, not too bad at all. $1 into 15. I'll take it. Um, this vintage Tommy Hilfiger color block windbreaker, it was okay. It was Tommy Hilfiger golf. 
Um, it had this, like the flag on the back, but that was about it. Now, it was, like I said, it was color blocked. There was like a blue side and a yellow and a uh, green side, but it was missing the spell out. If this thing had had like Tommy spelled out across the chest, it would be an easy hundred bucks, um, at least in my experience, if not a little bit more. But since it was lacking that and we just had the flag, I ended up taking a best offer of $29. Um, but I only spent a dollar on it, so... Uh, this Mary Kay uh, belted jacket, I spent a dollar at a yard sale not too long ago. It was listed for maybe two weeks before somebody bought it outright without a best offer. Like I said, $30. Uh, this Lane Bryant, just a very standard dolman sleeve, you know, sweater or whatnot. This is a size 14, 16, which I try to stay away from in Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant is a plus size brand and therefore attracts plus size clients. And 14, 16 is kind of on the edge of that. Um, and so not that many people, as far as I can tell, seem to shop resale in that kind of size range for this brand. Just my personal experience. Uh, I, I could be wrong. If you have a different experience, please do tell me in the comments. And I would love to know because I find plenty of it that's extremely cute. And I would love to change my view. <laughs> but um, I tend to try and find the bigger sizes um, and obviously still the cute styles and whatnot. But this all for six. $16 and uh, I paid 50 cents, so not too bad. Uh, this atrocity uh, sold for $22. It was another one of my 50 cents retail rummage sale finds and it was a light up sweater. Oh yes, and not only that, the nativity scene there is sort of some weird crossover between the actual nativity and uh, some kind of strange Santa reimagining with the baby Jesus being an elf. Oh, my days. I actually had two minds about putting this up in case somebody found it super offensive. But evidently, somebody thought it was awesome and bought it almost immediately. So $22 out of 50 cents. And I hope they light up the party. That would be cool. Um, okay, uh, Walt Disney World sweatshirt. Nothing spectacular. Paid a dollar at a yard sale. It sold for 15 It was probably listed for about five weeks. Uh, Cabby top. Cabby is another one that you can find. I don't have a picture here, but you can look on that inside tag and you can find that style number, which right here is 241. And that gave me um, the actual name again and obviously helps me look for comps. Um, yes, sold for 14 and I paid about a dollar for it at a yard sale. This I paid 50 cents at of actually my neighbor's yard sale. I just happened to walk over and find this and was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and obviously it's Tigo, Winnie the Pooh. It is a vintage Disney, like made in the USA, uh, Christmas sweater, can't go wrong. Uh, sold pretty quickly, $25. I probably could have held out for more, but again, eager to get some money in before the holidays. Who isn't, am I right? Um, so 20, 50 cents and $25. And the final Poshmark is this other cabbie one. Um, the Playtime T found that out from the uh, style number. And again, uh, took a best offer of 22 on this one and I paid a dollar for it. Oh, let's take a breath, take a drink. <laughs> let's chill for a second. Oh, hello, counter offer. We'll deal with you later. Um, okay, so let's do eBay and then we will call it a day. I am sorry if this video is too long. I had some feedback not long ago that you guys liked long sales videos. You liked them to be efficient. You like me to zip through them and give you all the information, but you like to see a lot of stuff at one time. So this is me doing that for you guys. Um, if it's too long though, let me know and I will change it for next time. All right, let's dive in. Uh, so this Disney, this was a Disney catalog piece. Here is the label, DisneyShopping.com. Um, the print was really, really cool. So it was like a tiki, Polynesian, Hawaiian kind of a, a print with all of the Fab Five there. Um, I actually almost, I actually took this Disney World with me and I almost <laughs> wore it um, when we went to Ohana to eat. But I didn't because who am I kidding? I went in t-shirt and shorts covered in the day that we just had. <laughs> because that's life. Um, but I decided to go ahead and post it when I got back because I'm not going to wear it, let's be real. And it's sold within, obviously, the two weeks since I've been back for a full asking price of $39.99 plus shipping. And I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Uh, this new with tags, um, this was by So, which I think is a Coles brand, but I just loved the design, like the gray into the dip dye turquoise or whatever. And um, it was a junior size, but it was very oversized. I could have probably worn it if I wanted to. Like I said, it was new with tags. Um, I paid about 25 cents for this at a filler bag, and it sold for $16.99 plus shipping. 
Uh, new without tags, by which I mean, you can see here, it has like the buttons and stuff still attached, like right there, but not the actual retail tag. So new without tags is what I would class this. Just a, like a very modest full length denim sleeveless dress. Um, and this sold for $15 plus shipping. It was heavy, so it did have to go priority mail. So there was a lot of shipping for the buyer to have to pay. And I paid about a dollar for this item. Um, okay. Uh, this J. Crew sweater like a fluffy knit. I just thought this thing would do so much better, and it didn't. <laughs> so it eventually sold on sale for twelve thirty four, and I paid about three dollars for this at the thrift store. So I don't know. You win some, you lose some when it comes to J. Crew. I find. All right. Same with this Betsy Johnson scarf. It just wasn't appealing. I guess it was new with tags. It ended up selling uh, for a best offer of nine dollars and fifty five cents. I paid a dollar at the bins for it, but it was still wasn't a great profit. Um, this Northern Isles vintage children's sweater, super cute, like all knitted in with these like farmhouse, uh, like barn, farm, whatever. Um, details I just thought this was really neat but it did have a couple of flaws with it being a little bit older a couple of small marks and things like that I believe so I ended up taking a best offer of $11 but it was 25 cents in a filler bag this Eileen Fisher uh, merino wool sweater dress I actually showed this in my last haul video as well and I pointed out then that it had a flaw I got it home and I realized that it had a hole in the arm um if it hadn't, I can only imagine what it might have sold for because I got a bid on it immediately when I put it up for auction. I started my auction at $9.99 and um, its final selling price was $16.50 plus shipping. It cost me a dollar and considering it had a hole in the arm, I will take that any day. Um, these were also from that uh, last haul video, Clark's Olive Green Leather Stitched Mules, and paid 50 cents for these, just like I did all the other shoes at that rummage sale, and they sold for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And they sold almost immediately as well. I think that was within an hour or two. Um, okay, Salvatore Ferragamo, um, they were like, these, they were pony hair, but like animal print pumps. Anyway, um, I picked them up for a couple of dollars at a rummage sale. However, when I got home and looked super closely, I realized I'd missed about a million flaws. I got label drunk, I think. Um, so, and they were small size. They were slim size as well. So if I go over here to my collage, you can start seeing some of those areas of wear where just basically the pony hair had been worn away. You can see right there and somewhere on the heels and stuff as well so um i've had them listed for a while with not too much interest someone offered me oh gosh i got lost no they didn't they sold on sale just kidding for 14.94 like you see on the screen and like i said i paid one or two dollars for them uh vintage high waist paisley print skirt um, nothing specific no specific brand other than it was a vintage piece it was made in the usa um where is my label so I can show you what I mean when I say vintage? Charter Club, you can see it's just an older tag and whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, and I just thought it was kind of a cool vintage skirt. I don't know what else to say, really. And it sold for a best offer of $15, and it cost me about $0.25 cents in filler bag. Um, this, this -y, this, I get it wrong every time. Forgive me, person who has told me how to, speak, how to say it properly. Um, this is a... Uh, it's a dress like a it's like a slimming kind of thing like a shapewear almost um with this like feather print on it almost like a photography print on it um and it sold on a best offer for twenty dollars and i paid about four dollars for this at a thrift store kimchi blue this sold for a best offer of eleven dollars and i spent about a dollar on it it had a lot of interest um on both poshmark and ebay but it just would never sell you know how that goes right that's that happens sometimes and as you can see here there's a little bit of sort of strange wear on the back there so that probably uh, didn't help either so eleven dollars i will take it it's ed hardy <laughs> i can't believe this sold so quickly it's ed hardy uh, shoulder bag this was also from the last haul that i did i spent 50 cents on this bag and it sold for full asking price of 22.99 plus shipping within a week of listing it and it got a bunch of attention on poshmark so don't be afraid of Ed Hardy, especially these all over prints. Apparently, it's still popular. I don't know. <laughs> um, these I have down as zero cost because they were actually uh, my husband's. <laughs> and he just didn't want them anymore. These Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Christmas pajama pants, whatever. They were fleece pants. Um, and they sold for a best offer of $12. So I didn't have any money in them. They were just laying around the house. Um, this North Face... Uh, 
dark grey corduroy skirt. It was size extra large. It sold for $14.99. Had about 50 cents in that. This was also from the last haul. Um, Jones, New York, it was an 18W, so it was a plus size. Just a nice floral dress. Nothing spectacular, but it sold within a day of listing. Um, and I believe I took a best offer of $19.99. And like I said, it paid about a dollar for this. And the buyer paid shipping. Uh, this J Crew top sold for $9.99 on a best offer. I had about 50 cents in it. It was just too nondescript. I wouldn't get something like this again, honestly, unless it was literally just in the filler bag situation. Might as well just stick it in. Um, this free people oversized blouse. Um, again, just a little too nondescript. It just didn't have enough going for it, honestly, is I think the problem with it. Um and it sold for it sold for fourteen ninety nine, like you see on the screen. And I paid about a dollar for it at a yard sale. But I'm real picky now with free people. It's got to be something good. Um, this is a Kate Spade lunch carrier, like an insulated lunch box. Um, I actually have zero down for this as well because uh, we had like a a free thing through my husband's work where he got to pick some stuff from the sacks. Fifth Avenue website and he said, told me go pick something so I did which was super nice of him and I picked this and then a Kate Spade coffee mug as well truth be told I just didn't like either of them this came and it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be even though I know to read the measurements because I sell online <laughs> I just didn't like it it was too big for what I needed and then the coffee mug I just didn't really like that either so the coffee mug is still for sale if you're interested go check out my shop it's super cute like a festive fox uh, travel tumbler design, insulated tumbler, um, and then this as well. Um, yeah, but it's all for full asking price, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, so technically, I made money, which you know is cool. But it's a shame I didn't get the thing that I thought I was gonna like. <laughs> Um, this is another one of those retail rummage sale Christmas sweaters, a completely random sloth based Christmas sweater. Um, paid fifty cents, and I took a best offer of seventeen fifty. Uh, this loft merino wool cowl neck sweater dress sold for full asking price of twenty two ninety nine. I had about a dollar in that. Prana, this is something that I wouldn't uh, pick up again. Again, I'm picky with Prana. The tops don't do so well for me. The dresses I find do okay. The leggings I find do pretty good as well. If you can find like the skinny jeans and stuff, those have done really well for me in the past in like 30 to 40 range. These jeans were just an older style and they just took a while. So they ended up selling for $12 on a best offer and I had about $3 in them, so... Um, Happy Elfin Holiday from Rue 21. This was just a filler bag item. So around 25 cents. It's all for $7.99 plus shipping. It, eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's filler, right? Filler items. Um, this new with tags, Calvin Klein cable knit sweater dress. This sold for full asking price of... Oh, no, it sold on sale. Just kidding. On sale for $35.99. Um, and I had about $4 in it from the thrift store. This, I couldn't move for love no money either. <laughs> A J. Jill, just like a button-up corduroy shirt. So I took a best offer of ten nineteen, random offer, I know ten nineteen, um, and I had about a dollar in it from a yard sale. Uh, Mountain Hardware Polar Tech quarter zip jacket. Um, I actually bought this at a yard sale for five dollars, thinking I would have it, and I just did not like how it fit. I was a little too tall for it in the end, um, but it sold for twenty seven ninety nine, so it's not too bad for five dollars. Um, Okay, Bar Humbug, the strangest Christmas sweater I think I have found so far. Mm, bar the light up Santa Nativity scene, perhaps. Um, but this ladybug situation, this sold really quickly. <laughs> um, and it sold for, oh Lord, I've lost my place. Give me strength. Um, wait, we're going to cheat and look forward. Okay, so you're there. So this sold for $17. We're back, don't worry. $17, and I paid about a dollar for it. Uh, this new tags nine west leather kind of like bucket hat situation <laughs> was filler bag um so i paid about 25 cents for it, it sold for ten dollars plus shipping these merrill jungle slide shoes again let me go ahead and try and show you, you can see right here jungle moccasin classic top that's where i'm going to find my information on this particular shoe um i took a best offer for 13 dollars. i had a dollar in it but this style was just not super popular so i was happy to take the offer um this j crew striped merino wool sweater um sold for best offer of 20 dollars for shipping and i paid about four dollars in a thrift store for it old navy black uh, black puffer jacket 
It was a size extra small, which is kind of a hard size to move sometimes. I, ended up, I had it for a long time since last season, like last winter season, and it ended up selling for $18.99. I had about a dollar in it from a rummage sale. Uh, J. Crew black bling button cardigan. It was like a fluffy sweater, and it was this alpaca wool blend situation happening. You might be able to, yeah, you see that kind of like fluffiness. It was about killing me thinking like, how do I make like make this not look like it is covered in, you know, stuff? I, I don't know. I had a time with it, but anyway, I put some effort into it. And I, apparently, the buyer is happy, so. I'm okay. Um, uh, but this ended up selling for $15 on a best offer. I had about a dollar into that from a rummage sale. Oh, another sloth one. This sold for, I think, I think the full asking price, $19.99. Um, okay. Yes, we're back. You should see the piece of paper I'm reading from. It's like number scrolled everywhere. Like, I, it's insane. So just... Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, so I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. It was new with tags. It's almost like a burnout kind of t-shirt. You see how you can kind of see through it here. Beauty and the Beast uh, by Disney. It was the movie, like the live action movie, not the original Disney movie, obviously. Um, and it's all for $24.99, which is my full asking price, um, plus shipping, which I was quite surprised with, I will be honest. Um, these I got at the last haul uh, that I put up at that rummage sale. Um, again, this brand that I butcher every time, Lissy or whatever you want to call it. I love finding this brand. I love finding the leggings specifically. They go so quickly. Um, so again, it's like black crackle, kind of like it was like a faux suede feel and they had like faux suede panels. I don't know, they were size large. And again, I put them up just like I did the last pair and within an hour, they had been purchased. Um, someone offered me $24. I had $1 in them and heck yes. Uh, thank you. I'll speak to you in a second. <laughs> um, and heck yes, I would take that within an hour. So $24. Mountain Hardware Polar Tech, just like a men's sweater with like a little mock kind of turtleneck situation. Took a best off of $18.30 and I paid a dollar. Keep going. We're almost there. Thank you for hanging in, guys. Um, J. Crew Bistro Pants, just like just black pants at size zero. Size zero does sell. Don't think that it doesn't. Um, I only put, had about a dollar in this and they sold for $17.50. People need them for work. Um, all right, Chico. So I am really specific with the Chico's that I buy now. Um, Chico's Travelers, I've always liked. I've always found moved quickly. That has slowed down for me now. But this piece was just so unique, shall we say, that I, I had to jump on it it had like polka dots and it was layered and it was sheer and it had lace and oh my day so you can say obviously with my cover photo I made sure to get as many of the details in there as possible for people to see as they were scrolling through because that one picture just would not have done it justice anyway um I paid three dollars at a rummage sale and it sold on sale for $20.99 and it sold pretty darn quick in you know a month or two um, new with Tags Banana Republic Distressed Girlfriend Jeans. Okay. Um, I paid about $6 at a thrift store, and they sold for the $34.99 that you're seeing there, plus shipping. Torrid. Um, I paid a dollar at a yard sale. I took a best offer of $15. Again, Torrid, kind of like I mentioned with Lane Bryant. So they have this double zero now, which is a medium to large. Torrid traditionally is a plus size clothing brand. So you're not going to have that many people medium large searching for specifically Torrid. It's just the, pretty much the way it is, as far as I can tell. Um, but I figured I'd try my luck for a dollar. It was a nice, festive kind of sweater. It had this awesome split side on it. Um, and it sold. So, you know, that's good. Fifteen, one dollar into fifteen dollars. That'll work for me. But I do try and stick with the one, two, threes with Torrid. Um, vintage bike, Los Angeles Raiders. You can read. <laughs> Long sleeve, thin sweatshirt type situation. Um, here is the older tag. Um, I paid about a dollar for this at a rummage sale and it sold on sale for $26.24 and it sold quickly within a week or two of listing. Uh, this, I am so excited that someone finally bought it. This thing is so cool. Um, so it was a vintage from the 90s, blue, like very dark, almost like a like a cobalt, no, like a royal blue. Oh, I don't know. This thing was awesome. High, low, crushed velvet dress. I love this. I'm so glad that somebody finally got it. Um, I paid uh, about $3 at a thrift store for this because I just couldn't leave it behind. And someone bought it on sale for $28.49. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. This was the Harvest sweater. I picked this up because I just thought it was so interesting. I've never seen this kind of tag before. 
Um, I didn't know much about it. I believe it was an older piece uh, made in Hong Kong. But anyway, it had a lot of popularity on Poshmark and on eBay. And I ended up selling it for a best, uh, I think it was for a best offer of $28.49. And no, it wasn't for $27.75. Just kidding. $27.75 was a sales price. I paid about a dollar at a yard sale. So not bad for an Abercrombie & Fitch sweater. And my final thing I'm going to show you is this Kill Ronan knitwear. Um, so whenever you see, first of all, merino wool is good, wool is good. Second of all, made in Ireland. My ears perk up to that, especially when you have like a chunky, almost like a fisherman net, like you see here. There was a great fabric content, a great um sort of like source, if you will, in terms of the made in Ireland, and a great feature with that wide. Uh, like collared neck, the oversized buttons and the, the wide almost fisherman net. There was just a lot going for this piece that it was definitely worth taking a chance on it for a dollar and it sold on a best offer for $30, which is not too bad at all. The shipping was pretty heavy, buyer did pay, pay shipping um, and I'd call that a win. So watch out for that made in Ireland and whatnot. That would be my advice. All right. Oh, and breathe. <laughs> Guys, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, we, I may have gone a little long on this one. I apologize. <laughs> but I just had so much to show you. And I just really wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's like coming back into, you know, working an online resale and retail and whatnot after going away on vacation and just kind of like leaving it to itself. I wanted to show you that within, you know, one or two weeks, you can pick things back up. You can get sales. You can generate activity. It's definitely possible. Um, okay, so I really hope that was useful to you guys. Please, by all means, drop some comments below and let me know how your sales are going. Do you feel like fourth quarter is doing you justice? Do you feel like it's slower than last year? Um, are you ready for it to wind down for the holidays? Because I guess that's kind of coming as well. You know, that last sort of three to four weeks of December tends to go pretty quiet. So we will see. I hope you all are having an amazing holiday season. Stay cozy, stay warm. Um, and I will talk to you all soon. All right. Bye, you guys.